Good morning, dear students. Welcome to your Google Classroom. Uh, uh, now, uh, we begin with appreciating fiction. Uh, see, you have two core papers this semester and one is appreciating fiction. Uh, in the last semester, you have studied appreciating prose, isn't it? And now we are doing appreciating uh, fiction. And uh, uh, you have, uh, uh, I think you have the syllabus with you. And uh, uh, mainly uh, we will be uh, dealing with, uh, see, uh, we have, uh, first of all, in the first module, uh, you will see uh, some terms defined. Uh, for example, uh, fiction, what is fiction, uh, is described uh, and then you have plenty of terms like long fiction, short fiction, uh, then uh, different types of fiction like uh, novel, uh, then short stories, novelle, uh, and then all, all, all these things are defined. And then you will uh, see uh, how terms like uh, plot, uh, uh, characterization, uh, and then uh, the different um, segments of a plot, uh, all these terms are defined in module 1. Uh, and then um, you have a collection of short stories. Uh, and again, uh, you have to study uh, a, a fable, actually a novel by, uh, by um, uh, George Orwell, uh, Animal Farm. Uh, and again, you have a film. Uh, it's about Moby Dick. Uh, it's Herman Melville's Moby Dick. Uh, and so, uh, these are the uh, topics included. Uh, see, uh, just uh, look at the, uh, at the syllabus. I hope you have the syllabus with you. Uh, see, module 1 is understanding fiction. I told you, uh, what is fiction is explained. Uh, and then, uh, what is plot? Uh, what are the different segments of a plot? And how is a plot different from a story? Uh, all these things are explained there. Then character. Character is equally important to the plot in fiction. Mm, then at, uh, atmosphere, uh, narrative techniques, point of view, difference between long and short fiction, uh, different types of fiction. Uh, and so these terms are prescribed for you to study in module 1 and so we will begin with it. Uh, see, uh, you will be made familiar with the different terms connected with fiction. Uh, and then after that uh, we will be doing uh, module 2, 3, 4. Module 2 is short fiction. Uh, that is, you have stories by O. Henry, James Joyce, Sally Morgan, and so on. And then you have Module 3, that is long fiction, George Orwell's Animal Farm. Uh, and, uh, 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 you know, have you read Animal Farm? Uh, it's a very interesting story. Uh, it is actually... An animal fable, a story in which uh, animals become characters. Uh, actually, uh, it is a political allegory and a satire. What is an allegory? Allegory is a story within a story. And so, Animal Farm is a very interesting long fiction and uh, uh, in Animal Farm, you see, first of all, uh, we will study it as a political allegory and a satire. Uh, what is an allegory? Allegory is a story within a story. Usually it explains to the reader a message or a moral. 
uh, and uh, the allegorical um, retelling of uh, the Russian Revolution and the rise of Joseph Stalin is actually the hidden story in the animal farm. Outwardly, it's a story about animals. Uh, but actually, the story is about Russian Revolution and about Joseph Stalin. Animal Farm represents the Russian Revolution as well as the key Russian figures like Stalin, Lenin, Trotsky and Karl Marx. Uh, and so that is the long fiction that you have to study, a very interesting one. Uh, I told you it's an animal fable, an allegory. And uh, even though it appears to be a story of animals, uh, you will uh, hear about the Russian Revolution and the rise of Joseph Stalin uh, in the story. And so Animal Farm represents the Russian Revolution as well as the key Russian figures like Stalin, Lenin, Karl Marx and so on. Uh, and then you have uh, uh, a film. Uh, it's directed by John Huston uh, and it is about Moby Dick. Uh, see, Moby Dick is a very famous novel. Uh, see, the film, it's a film version of a very famous um, story, a novel called Moby Dick the Whale. Uh, and so, it's a novel in the year eight, uh, written in the year 1851 by the American writer Herman Melville. Uh, and so uh, the fourth module, it's a film and the film is based on the novel by Herman Melville. What's the title of the novel? Uh, it is Moby Dick the Whale. Uh, the book um, uh, is the sailor Ishmael's narrative of the obsessive quest of Ahab, captain of the whaling ship Picard, for revenge on Moby Dick, the giant white sperm whale that on the ship's previous voyage bit off Ahab's leg at the knee. And so that is it. In one line, it's a very famous novel, and in one line, it is about uh, the white whale Moby Dick and about the captain Ahab. And uh, the story is in the form of a narration. Narration by whom? Ishmael. Uh, the sailor Ishmael, uh, he is making the narration. And uh, what is he narrating? It's about Ahab's hostility towards the white whale Moby Dick and uh, he explains how Ahab is revengefully um, going after Moby Dick. Uh, why, what's the reason why Ahab the captain is angry with Moby Dick? Because on the ship's previous voyage this whale bit off Ahab's leg at the knee and so that is it. And uh, uh, I will explain to you the novel, the characters, the narrative techniques and so on. And then you will have the film screened. Uh, and then you will get an idea of the uh, short fiction, short stories, long fiction like novel, film and so on. Uh, and so that is what you are doing in appreciating fiction. And you have five hours per week. Uh, for this text okay uh, and so uh, I hope that you all have the copy of the text with you enough uh, and uh, uh, today I am explaining some aspects of fiction uh, first of all what is fiction of uh, uh, fiction um, uh, as literature in the form of prose, especially novels that describe imaginary events and people. And so 
that is the definition that is given our fiction is literature in the form of prose it is prose especially our novels it's fiction and uh, fiction is something about imaginary events and people uh, that is fiction is uh, based on imaginary incidents not on true incidents and so in fiction the reader should not expect the realistic rendering but you should expect lot of imagination and fiction generally is a narrative form in any medium consisting of people events or places that are imaginary understood and so what is fiction about a uh, fiction is about people it can be about people i in novels and all you will uh, hear about different types of people in some novels you will see events described ah uh, and then places everything is imaginary in other words it is not based strictly on history or fact i uh, in its narrow usage a uh, fiction refers to written narratives in prose and often specifically novels novellas and short stories ah uh, and so fiction refers to books and stories about imaginary people and events rather than books about real people or events and so in fiction you should not try to search truth i say you know that uh, in film also i uh, you will have fiction oh uh, yet we sometimes identify ourselves with the characters on the stage similarly when you read novels when you read short stories you may identify yourself with the characters it is mere coincidence and uh, uh, it is because uh, these imaginary things can happen understood and so a uh, fiction uh, is about imaginary events and people and so that is a simple way to define fiction uh, def- uh, what is fiction a uh, literature it is which is in the form of prose understood literature which is in the form of prose but dealing with imaginary events and people understood and so that is fiction ah uh, when you study a uh, fiction ah uh, see when you study animal farm moby dick or anything and the short stories you will come across different characters different places all are the products of the uh, highly imaginative minds of the writers concerned uh, a fiction is deliberately fabricated account of something and so uh, uh, what is the writer of fiction doing he is deliberately fabricating an account of something i uh, see his imagination is at work and he makes a fabricated account of an event it can also be a literary work based on imagination rather than on fact like a novel or a short story and so in novel in short story in films uh, what you see are imaginary people events and things the latin word fictus see actually fiction comes from the latin word fictus it means to form the said ah uh, uh, the fiction comes from it derives from it is derived from the latin word fictus what is the meaning of fictus to form yes ah uh, uh, fiction is a uh, something that is formed in imagination that is the indication understood 